Hi guys, welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys quick and easy how I work with all layers. In the last few tutorials I showed you guys how to work with the layer adjustment panel over here and I also showed you all the individual layers that we get in Photoshop. Now in today's tutorial I'm going to start from fresh again and show you guys quickly how I work with all of the layers. Alright, so let's quick and easy delete all the layers that we have over here. I basically want to just keep my normal base layer here from the top so basically as I just imported this image into Photoshop okay so the first thing that I want to do to this image is now quickly create a adjustment layer to just tweak my reds a little bit over here and also take out the saturation a little bit so for that I'll go over to my adjustment panel over here and select the hue and saturation adjustment layer so as you guys can see now at the top I've got a hue and saturation adjustment layer over here in our properties panel I will just tweak and take out the reds a little bit and just turn the saturation down a little bit so that was all I did already minus 10% if I may turn the visibility on and off, you can directly see that the reds go away a little bit. Then also I want to clip this hue and saturation adjustment layer now to my normal basic layer. So I'm going to hold Alt and clip that with the small arrow again to that layer. Then what I would like to do is actually basically darken my background now a little bit more. So what I would do is copy my basic layer, take that all the way down to the new layer icon down here, drop that and we have created a duplicate. As you guys can also see now our hue and saturation has been unclipped again so I need to clip that again. Let's move our basic layer here simply to the top so that is fresh from the start again and the, to the top. Okay and clip our hue and saturation quickly again with alt so we're going to clip that again to this basic layer. Okay over our basic layer I'm just going to rename that to basic layer 2. So we know that is our basic layer 2 and now basically with our basic layer I would darken just the background a little bit. So first step that I'll do is go again back to adjustment panel over here to my levels select that and we get a new adjustment layer over here. Now I'm going to just go over to my darks here and just darken my image completely as you guys can see it's get very dark over here and now I also want to clip this adjustment layer to my basic layer too. So again hold alt clip that again to that and directly this effect will only be applied to this basic layer. Okay, selecting my basic layer again and now I would like to actually create a mask and just paint back the background. So over here I'll select my basic layer and go all the way down to mask, select the mask. As you guys can see I've got a white mask now so everything is visible. I want to basically invert that with command E so we have a hidden mask. Invert that and directly the effect is totally gone and we are back to our normal basic layer. Okay, so now over to our mask, I'm going to select the mask, going to select a brush now and also a white foreground color, add 100 opacity and also my, going to press Control Alt here to get into the brush properties and then with my brush, not wanting to have a really hard brush, I want to soften my brush a little bit more. Okay, and then also change the size of my brush a little bit. I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 4 board so via my board I'm able to change the brush size really quickly. For those of you who don't have that you will have to go up here to the top and select it here. Okay now basically on our mask I want to just physically paint out the blacks here a little bit. So really roughly painting along the sides of the person here and a little bit more and I can see I'm already going a little bit too much into the hair so I need to fix that again. Okay over here I want to brush that in also Okay, and as I can see from the top, I still got my old watermark here at the top, so I need to fix that also, but we're going to do that in a little bit. Okay, again on our mask here, I'm going to select a white or actually a black foreground color now to paint out the hair a little bit again. So over here with 100 opacity again, I'm just really roughly going to paint a little bit over here on the hair, so we're just recovering a little bit of that hair. Okay, and now last step, I will take my opacity from this layer just a little bit down. So over here on the opacity, I will just turn that down a little bit, say to around 90%, 94%. That looks alright, a little bit more. And we're going to have it at 90%. Okay, so directly we already have now two layers with two adjustment layers. But I'm already getting a bit confused. So the next step I would like to do is basically put those layers into groups. So I'm going to hold shift now and select my levels over here, my adjustment layer with levels. Go all the way down to group or press command G and put that together in a group. Just double click on here and I'm going to say darken background. 
Okay, dark in the background and I'm going to do exactly the same effect with my normal basic layer. I'm going to select with shift again, hue and saturation adjustment layer, pressing again command G to create another group. Over here I'm just going to say saturation, so I know that is my saturation layer. Okay, so now we have already these two groups and if I blend certain things in and out I can already see what happens to my image. Okay, again to our dark background, at the top I want to physically take out a little bit of these brandings here at the top. So I want to create an empty layer, I'm going to go all the way down to new empty layer and I have an empty layer. On here I'm going to paint again with a black brush with foreground color black and also the opacity should be set to 50%. So over here 50%. So we're not painting that hard. Also my brush is very soft again and now very easily I'm just brushing over here at the top. As you guys can also see here, if we're turning off the other two layers, we can see where we are brushing now at the moment. So just a little bit more, brush a little bit over the sides here, so everything is nice and darkened. Okay, going to put on my darkened background and also the saturation, and directly at the top here I can see we have no branding anymore, and that is also set Okay, so now last step that I still want to do is, is go back again to adjustments over here and create another levels adjustment layer. Why am I doing that? Just because of getting a little bit more pop into my image. So first of all what I want to do is basically just darken a little bit more my image here and also brightening the highlights a little bit so to get just a little bit more pop in here. Because if I'm darkening this more it, we're going to get more contrast and everything saturates a little bit more. As I can also see we have more saturation again so I'll go back into my adjustment layer again create another hue and saturation layer. As you guys can also see I'm not clipping these adjustment layers now to anything so they are basically affecting everything that is underneath. Okay and under hue and saturation I'm going to take the saturation also just a little bit down but I actually don't want to take it onto my masters here so I'm going to press command Z just to go back and basically under our adjustment panel here under the properties I want to go into my reds, so not in the masters, going to just affect the reds in our image. So over here going to tweak the reds a little bit down, okay, to keep it like that. Okay, so now again we have a few new more layers in here and also adjustment layers and I quickly want to just hold shift and put them all together in a group, command G again, put that together in a group and just right here say fine tuning. So we fine tuning our image a little bit, okay. Then last step that I would like to do is actually create a shape layer here at the top with a text layer on top of that. So we're going to go all the way over to our shapes here, going to select right click here and I'm going to select a rounded rectangular tool for the rounded rectangular shape. Okay, going to select that and I also want to fill that just with a white foreground color, my complete shape. Okay, and we are going to just create a small shape over here. Let's take that all the way through created a shape and we have a white shape over here now. If I go over to my mouse move tool here I can then again move that around. I would pretty much like to put that almost into the center, keep it almost over here, okay. And now I would like to add a text onto this white area, on the, to our white shape. Okay, going to select the text tool from here and basically just going to wait till the text tool is ready, okay. And now we're going to select in this shape layer over here now I tag directly to the shape, I didn't want to do that. So over here I'm going to create a new text area. I can go right here, Photoshop Tutorial and also selecting all of that and quickly changing that to a white foreground color. So over here I can see I did a mistake there as well and if I put white on white we're not going to see anything. So I'm going to keep it to black actually. So press escape there again, just accept that and we have it as black so I can move that to the top here and I need to go back in here and just correct this. There we go, okay, selected that, I'm going to select all of that and make that just a little bit bigger. So over here a little bit more, okay, accept that. Now I'm also going to move that again into the center here with my cursors up and down, going to move that a little bit into the center. Now I'm going to go over to my Photoshop tutorial layer over here, double click to get into the layer styles. So in layer styles, next step that I want to do is just give that a small stroke. So I've selected a stroke, over here I need to change the stroke, so I'm going to change it to a red color, say OK that, and I'm going to change the size of my pixel ratio here. So make that a little bit smaller, say around six pixels, then we're going to go all the way back to drop shadow, I'm going to select drop shadow as well, and in drop shadow I want to just add a little bit of a drop shadow to this whole image or whole text layer here, 
Okay, like that. It's not the nicest at all. Over that. Okay. And now what I still want to do is basically give my stroke a little bit of a gradient. So overall, I'm going to go back to stroke. And in stroke, I'm going to say here under the fill type, I'm going to say gradient. So select the gradient and directly you'll see we have a gradient. Over here on my angle, I'm going to change that a bit up and also going to go back into the color of the gradient and just select a red color over here, double tap on here so we get into the color picker and we're going to choose a dark red over here, say OK and on the other side we don't want it to have it too white so we want to have it black, double click on that also back in the color picker, we're going to choose a dark silver over here maybe that's a bit too hard Okay, very light silver. I can also directly see my effect over here. So I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to say OK over here. So we have a new gradient color over here. Now what I would like to do is go back to gradient or the angle actually and just turn the angle up again a little bit. So we have it fading from gray into red like that. Okay. So that's basically it. I'm going to say OK that and we have directly applied a new text layer to that. Okay, so then also again selecting with shift again my shape layer and my text layer, put that with command G in another group and just write here shape and text. So I know those are the shape and text layers. Shape and text layer, okay, enable that and now my last step that I still would do is press command alt shift E for the master shortcut and we have a complete new layer which I'm going to rename to my final layer. So that is my final layer. I'm now ready to go over to file and save this layer as it is. So just to go run through once more over here, we started out just with a normal layer under our saturation. Let's just open all of our groups here. And as we can see, we started with a normal basic layer. Then we did a bit of a hue and saturation on top of that. Then we created another mask layer here. Basic again, a normal layer with a mask clip to that where we just darken the background a little bit. And we also did a hue and saturation adjustment layer for that. Then let's just minimize this a little bit. Then we added a complete new empty layer where we just darkened again the top part here and also the sides a little bit. We added another adjustment layers just with a little bit of levels to just let that image give that a little bit of more pop and also more contrast. But through that also the saturation went up. So through that we also added a hue and saturation adjustment layer just to take the reds out a little bit. Okay, so that is all under our fine tune. Last step again, we added a rounded rectangular shape here and we've added a text effect to that. Okay, so as you guys can see over here. Let's minimize this and our final layer was again our final image with a master shortcut. Okay, so that is basically how I mostly work with layers and then obviously in loads of other tutorials I have different ways of working with my layers. I just hope that you guys have a little bit of understanding how I work a bit with my layers and what I do with my layers. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you all in my next tutorial. If you still have any questions, please feel free to email me to team at manyphotography.co.za. Happy to help you with your questions. Thank you guys and see you all in my next video. Bye bye.